it's easier to add certain actions to Tasker. Check it out. When you add a new action, you can search for, for example, a name of, a, of a, an existing task. I know I have a task called important, so if I search for that, the perform task action will show up, and if I click it, this will pre be pre-filled in. So I can just run it, and this is what the task does. It shows a flash. I have another one called cool, and there you go. It does the same thing. If I run this, I am cool. Now, you can even add these to your favorite actions. So let's say you run the important action, uh, the important task a lot. So you add and write important, oops, important, and select the perform task action. And now it was added, but now I can delete this. Let's delete these as well. Now if I long click this, this will be available, so it's important for the perform task action. And if I click this, it'll be directly filled in. I can also add the, the cool action, for example, the same way. The cool task, I mean. So now I can simply click this, and the cool act uh, task will be pre-filled in. These wor this works for several other actions, like the dialogue, uh, the pick input dialogue. So for example, if I write calendar, pick input dialogue, it has uh, two calendar types. So if I choose calendar, I can choose from calendar or calendar entry. And now if I long click this, the calendar pick input dialogue option is here, and I can select from both of these. And finally, we have the tasker function. Let's see, for example, there's a function that checks if I have root, tasker function, and it checks root. There's a function, it's already pre-filled in. So now I have a direct uh, a shortcut to the root tasker function. There you go. So this is how search became more um, useful in the latest Tasker version. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!